See, I ain't even started this lesson yet, and I'm in trouble. I have his treat bowl with his peanut butter cookies in it, and he thinks it's treat time. I'm trying to show y'all a lesson, but I got to use his treat jar, so I'm going to give him a treat. He going to run the fuck on, and I can get started. What's up, everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video, and look, I've already done a lesson on this. Telling the difference between a real and a synthetic share. I watched Lou's video last night. I watched Lou's video last night. Trying to get rid of that shit going in and out on y'all. And he hit on what I talked about, but then he spun his own shit. It was kind of like. He watched my video and then tried to reword it. So I'm going to have to explain it again. How you can tell if you have a real or a synthetic share. First off, let me ask y'all. What's happening, Joseph? I see you in here. Oklahoma Sasquatch, what's happening? Dope man just came from your house. Uh, Yeah, V-Chain, Jerry, Jensen. Liquid Swords, you always here, man. Grace. Hey, babe. Kong. I'm going to be talking about how to tell a synthetic and real share again. Taught it once, but I only had a couple hundred subscribers, so it bears I should do it again. Mr. Moaz. Mr. Moaz, where are you at? Everybody is waiting on you to show up. Mr. Moas, where are you at? <laughs> Love you. Thank you for stopping by. And we got 47 already. I think <laughs> I want to have a competition. Hey, I'm putting together. This is for the, my subscribers. New people coming in in just a few minutes. I'm going to start a lesson on how to tell real and synthetic shares. Without a doubt, very simple to understand. And it'll erase some of the confusion that Uncle Fester put out there. Because it's like he saw my video because he came on the stream. He'll show up just a little bit and say something about, hey, Transmiphodite. You'll know it's him because if I click on his thing, it takes me to his whoever that is it takes me to y'all's youtube page so it's really lou he drops by every now and then i wish he would today so he could see this lesson so he could tell his people exactly how this works what motherfucker see if i don't get on with this lesson he's gonna eat the whole fucking jar of cookies like, no you ain't getting another cookie go get go get me a beer go get me a beer you get a cookie that's right. Go get daddy's beer. Thank you. Here you go. I got a good dog. <laughs> Say, man, you got to give it to the ape father. He nailed that one. I mean, Lou loves to give motherfuckers nicknames. Like, what's he calling fucking uh, Al from Boston right now? Oh, Pepe Le Pew. So now fucking somebody finally pegged one on him and Uncle Fester's perfect. I mean, it it was perfect when I seen it. Yeah, he's eating the synthetic shares, though. Don't worry, Mike. I seen, I seen that DD by Rico on Lou with JP Morgan. Man, that really fucked me up with this Lou shit. Because... Lou was tweeting, and, and his buddies and I were tweeting, J.P. Morgan is the way. January, March, May, June. June 30th. And that's when they fucking entered into short positions against AMC. Well, I was like, what the fuck? But anyway, we're here to talk about real shares, synthetic shares. <laughs> A father, listen, when a father starts his videos and goes, this is not financial advice, 
I'm an entertainer. Yeah, he entertains the fuck out of me. Because he's got 10,000 followers and maybe 200 views. Come on, man. It's time for you to tighten your game up some, bro. Are y'all ready for me to start about the... Let's see, we're at 514. Good deal. Six, seven people. Good. Yes, I believe it can make it to 4K, MC. Where's Wimsy at? Wimsy, good morning. It's still morning. Oh my God. I'm so fucking tired. Who's y'all's favorite YouTuber? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Who's your favorite YouTubers? What's up, Alex? They didn't want they didn't want you to uh call me handsome, so I'm 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 go ahead and approve that one. <laughs> Okay, we're at 78, we're climbing. When we get to 100 is when I'm going to start the class on how to tell real and synthetic shares. Boss Blunt. So let me tell you something. I don't like Boss Blunt. I'm going to tell you why. That some bitch stole my name. Because if I would have thought of Boss Blunt's first, that would have been my fucking name. He would have had to have been the common sense investor. I would have been Boss Blunts. In fact, me and him are a duel over the name Boss Blunts. What do y'all say about that? Y'all want to see a duel between me and Boss Blunts over the title for the name? You're not getting another cookie, son, bitch. You're going to eat all the shares of AMC. There ain't going to be no shares to sell back. That's enough. 91, nine more, and we, 92, we're going to start the class in just a few seconds. He changed his channel name to what? See, that's fucked up, because that's how simple it is. I could change my channel name right now to Boss Blunts, and I would get all of his people coming to me. He shouldn't have done that. Man, humble, I'm doing all right this Sunday. I was just catching up on my DD, and uh, I seen a video by Lou, and it was about synthetic and real shares, and I said, oh, shit, so I better fucking come on back and remind everybody how to tell a real and a synthetic share, so I'm getting ready to start. Man, I said the guy from New York's name, and we dropped five people out the chat. I'm sorry. I love y'all. I, I was watching his video. What can I say? 104. All right. Welcome, everybody. I'm the Common Sense Investor with Boomer sitting here next to me because I have kidnapped his treat jar for this lesson. Now, I'm going to try to ignore the chat, even though I love to see what y'all are saying. Y'all make me laugh. Boomer, go. Get the fuck out. Go. Don't sit there and eat it. You're going to want another one as soon as you're done. Okay. Real and synthetic shares. Inside of this bucket, This is the buy pool, all right? It's his treats. That's why he's driving me fucking crazy right now. But inside of this bowl bucket is AMC shares, okay? Now, AMC shares of people who bought last January is in this bucket, okay? Now, somebody that bought Friday, they're in the same bucket. So if if you bought in January and you bought Monday, you go in the same bucket. Everybody goes into the buy pool bucket. All right. Or sell pool bucket. Now, there's supposed to be 513 million shares inside this bucket of AMC shares, 516 now of AMC shares. And I'm sure there's a logical explanation how it jumped 3 million. I'd have to ask one of them smart guys like Boss Blunts or Bigums. But anyway, 
Inside of this bucket is 513 million shares of AMC. Then you buy tomorrow. Then you buy Tuesday. And somebody buys next Thursday. They all going into the bucket. Okay. Let's call a share. This share is black and this one is white. This one is real. It's in the bucket. This one's not real. It's black. And it goes into the bucket. Now, when you look into the bucket now, all you see is gray. The white and the black mixed in together. You can't distinguish who's who. Can everybody understand that? That if you bought in December, you went into the bucket until there's eventually 25 billion shares in this bucket. I'm drinking now. Shane, what are you talking about? They're all counted as real in this bucket. Now, nobody knows how many is in this motherfucker. Fuck. Nobody knows how many is in this motherfucker. This is the only way they're going to be able to unravel it. Are you ready? Okay. Stock jumps to 50. What's going to happen? Somebody in this bucket is going to sell. And they are going to buy it. So they can cover their position. Okay. At 50, two, two other people sell. They sell to them and they cover their positions. These are real shares. Okay. They reach into the bucket and they pull out what? Another real share. And they sell it and they return it to where it goes. And this process continues of people selling as the price rises. To 200, somebody sell, somebody sells, <laughs> blooper, boomer ate half a share. Now y'all got a fractional share. But there's going to come a time when the shorts cover 100 million shares. All right. When they cover and all the shares, 513 million, are accounted for. They're going to look in this bucket and they're going to say, what the fuck is this? Three billion more shares of AMC. Listen to the logic of it, people. Say it again. These are people that bought last year. These are the people buying right now. BlackRock, Vanguard, Pelosi's husband, me, you, everybody's in the bucket. Now, how do you distinguish what's real? And what's synthetic? Watch. At 50, somebody sells. The share comes out of the bucket and is returned where it's got to go. It's a real share. And it's counted in the, the float. All right. Now it's counted in the float. Then at 60, somebody else sells. And that's a real share coming out of this bucket. Kind of like a magician reaching his hand into the gray bucket and he can always pull out the white cookie. But everybody, until a hundred million shares, when a hundred million shares are taken out the bucket and everybody can account for every share now, they're going to look and go, where the fuck these five billion shares come from? Everything in the bucket at that time, when the shorts cover, and people sell real shares. The last thing in the bucket is synthetic shares. That's how you tell what's real and what's synthetic when the sale happens. See what Lou's talking about? Let me tell y'all something. I need a quick of beer for this one. Lou said, first off, you got synthetic shares in your account. Okay, I got synthetic shares in my account. Why? Because I plan on holding the paper hands are going to sell off. And when they do, that's going to be returned. And that's going to make what's in the bucket more valuable. But Lou said we have synthetics in our account. And he has, I said he's right. Okay. Here's why he's right. Everybody has synthetics. 
us, Black Rock, every fucking body. There's no way to tell. <laughs> they could have real shares. It's who sells first claims the real share. See, I got a real share. <laughs> 300. <laughs> I got a real share. 9,000. See, at the sale, they become real. Out the bucket, they turn from gray back to white and they're returned. And then everything still in the bucket is the oh shit moment. And that's the easiest explanation in the world. Now, Lou's saying once a real share is returned, the synthetics that are connected to it disappear. The shares return and the synthetics, they're vanquished. That's not possible. Let me explain why. These shares are in your account. They can't just disappear because one share is returned does not mean three disappear out of whose account. Let them take it out of his. They're not taking it out of mine, not without paying for it. So that one share is returned and you got all these layers of synthetics that are connected to it and everything. And when, when they do sell this one, these follow and they thrown in the garbage. No, you can't throw fuck in the garbage. We own them. So that kills that shit. Everybody in the bucket. We all great. The magician's going to reach in and he's going to pull out a white fucking cookie every time until they have counted for every share of AMC. Once they, thank you, uh, Cole. I seen Froggy a little while ago, but do y'all understand now? It doesn't make a difference. You could say, what do I hold in my account? Do I hold real shares? Do I hold synthetic shares? And my response to you would be, he's getting another three. You have a gray share. You have a gray share. It's not white. It's not black. When the moment you hit that sale button, it becomes white. Until they hit 513 million shares that they can account for. Once they can account for every share, you got the black share, <laughs> the synthetic share. That's not to be afraid of, though, because it's the synthetic that pushes the MOAS. See, I tell y'all there's two squeezes. There's the shorts covering squeeze that takes us to maybe 800. That's when the shorts are covering seven to eight. I've always said that. Uh, then there's the MOAS, which is them covering the synthetics. Them covering what's left in this bucket is what's going to be so valuable. And the last person that's holding on to the end, he's going to get the highest price. But boy. Better go watch Frankie's uh, video on risk assessment. So, yeah, hit that like button, people, please. I'm a 55 right now. Let's get it to 100. We get it to 100, and I'll, I'll show y'all Boomer can do a trick. Y'all seen him go get me a beer. I'm going to tell him to go throw it in the garbage. Uh, I got to do some research on FTDs. Listen, this has come up before, and maybe I shouldn't say it yet. Thank y'all for hitting the like button. There's 87 likes now, 90. Thank y'all. Uh, FTDs was a big thing last year. And all the YouTubers was talking about how high the FTDs was. Okay. And they're waiting on the MOAS. And this, the FTDs, was what was going to cause the catalyst that would bring the MOAS. I'm talking about last year. You're thinking, wait a minute, I just watched them do a video on that two days ago. That's right. They're talking about FTDs today. I'm saying I've watched their videos on FTDs a year ago. And they're saying the same shit. The FTDs, the high rate of FTDs is what's going to be the catalyst that brings the MOAS and blah, 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 blah. And it didn't. We're still here. And guess what we're talking about again? FTDs. Nothing. Can, there is no catalyst. 
full of Moas. The computer decides when that motherfucker's going to go. It knows. They know, too. I'm just checking out y'all's messages. <laughs> you want to see Boomer do a trick? I tell y'all, Boomer only knows two tricks. If I call him right now, he's mad I won't give him no cookie. So I say, come here. And he'll lick his balls and say, what? And I said, never mind, bitch, stay where you at. And he's learned to do that whenever he don't want to be bothering him. No catalyst, no dates. The computer's going to do it when it gets ready. God damn it. I'm going to get me an eight ball. And every time somebody says, when will we squeeze? I'm going to shake that fucking eight ball and tell you what it says. That's right, Shane. Synthetic. A synthetic and a naked is two different things. You can have legal synthetics, but you can't have legal nakeds. <laughs> there's no catalyst russia's not the catalyst russia i think moved the squeeze up i'm really surprised it didn't happen last week no the ftds aren't going to do it the ftds didn't cause it last year Go watch last year's videos on the FTDs. They're the exact same videos from before. Oh, Shane, I used to not believe that. I used to believe in him. Now, 7311, I'm going to tell y'all my, let me talk about SHIB for a minute. This is my SHIB strategy. I tell y'all, every time I buy a stock, whatever's left in the account, the change is like throwing it in my change bucket. Only my change bucket here is SHIB, and I just keep increasing my SHIB position. Now, I have a number of SHIB that I will not sell. That's my limit. Boom. I've hit it. Now, anything over that, if it rips, and I feel that's going to be the end of the rip. I'll sell a portion. I still have my initial big. I want 100 million shares of SHIB. And then I play with anything else. Because if I, if it hits a penny with 100 million shares, I'm set. And it's going to hit a penny. I don't give a fuck what Tony Gennaro says. In fact, I will burn every penny I got trying to get this goddamn thing down. So it hits a penny. Because he don't believe it will. Burn means, um, you know how there's so many, only so many circulating dollars in the United States, all right? And burn would be like you take it and you tear up the money and you throw it in the garbage. Now, theoretically, that makes a $10 bill worth more, okay? And this, a little talk about inflation too. But if you tear up 50 billion American dollars and throw them in the trash, that makes the currency that's in play now more valuable. Now, or in other words, you could buy more with it. If they print more money, it's less valuable and you buy less with it. But same thing, same as inflation, dealing with inflation. What were we talking about? Yeah, I know. Lou's cool. I used to like Lou a lot. Dude, I, I really used to like Lou. I mean, me and Lou was right here. It's garbage now, Noah. But it won't be. Bitcoin was garbage. Y'all don't remember... When they was giving away Bitcoin, just sign up and we give you bit, fucking 50 Bitcoins, 100 Bitcoins, just for signing up. Look at it now. 
if a motherfucker signed up for something and got a hundred bitcoins for free, what's it worth today? So don't give me shit about shit being garbage. The power of SHIB is the army behind it, just like the apes. There's a SHIB army, and they're buying up as much SHIB as they can. And as much as they can buy up, there's a few YouTubers like me who burn. We take ad revenue, and we convert it into SHIB, and we burn it in the burn wallet, and it tears it up, and it's never usable again. Circulating supply goes down. There's so much stuff going on with SHIB. I like Rico. Rico's a very smart man. If you can catch him sober, some bitch, all he does is get drunk. I threw him out of dog, huh? He did one funny one, drunk as shit, bouncing around in the hotel room. And I said, what the fuck? My boy's fucked up. I don't know XRP. You got to believe, Nemesis. You just got to have a con See, that's the thing. It's what I was talking to y'all about the other day. You got to have a conviction. Okay? I have a conviction in AMC. I also have a conviction in SHIB. I believe I know what the destiny of SHIB. So I am increasing my position there. I have a conviction. You don't have a conviction. That's why you shouldn't do it. Because when it, just like I said Keenan West the other day in a video, I meant Keenan Grace. When Keenan Grace says that if you don't have a conviction, when the stock dips, you're going to sell and you're going to come back crying to him and he ain't having it. And I ain't either. But you got to have a conviction. That's why I don't say buy, sell, hold. Well, I say hold. $10 million a share. I don't know. I think, I believe, and I could be wrong, but Berkshire Hath Hathaway has the biggest or largest share. But that's because there's only a few shares. The rarity of Berkshire Hathaway is what makes it more valuable. If AMC was to, for lack of a better term, burn, they would buy the shares back. A, sh a share buyback. If we pushed Adam to do a share, a share buyback of a hundred million shares and lowered the float, cool—that's a good strategy, people. If we bought back a hundred million shares. He could, I'm going to tell you what, he could set up an account. Man, this is a good fucking strategy. Where are we at? 28 minutes. Listen to this shit, people, and you're hearing it here first. 28, 25. Share buyback. Share buyback, people. <laughs> if we could convince Adam Aaron to buy back AMC, buy back 100 million shares of AMC that would lower the float, therefore causing the price of our shares that we hold more valuable. Can y'all understand that? No, I'm not hammered, Keith, not yet. But I'm fixing to go get another beer. I want you to think of... <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a video on on just that, man. That's that's a solution there, man. We could set up a fund. AMC could set up a fund for people to donate money to buy back shares. And instead of me buying it next week, if I bought ten shares, I really want, I want to buy twenty five shares next week. I wouldn't buy it like that. I would donate the money over here to the AMC buyback program. And that money would be used until we reached 100 million shares. And the company could buy them back.
No, I think they'll sell. Let me tell you who I don't think is going to sell. See, I'm telling y'all in this live, I'm sharing with y'all some of the videos I've got wrote down to do tonight. And in the morning, I'm going to be live in the morning at 3 o'clock. Where's that other one that I have? BlackRock. Will BlackRock paper hand? You see, that's a big thing going on right now. What did BlackRock sell? Man, who the fuck did BlackRock sell? That's 9 million more returned. We get closer to seeing how many synthetics is in that bucket. Black Rock's not going to paper hand. I believe Black Rock's in it to bankrupt the little hedge funds and make themselves more powerful. With every share of AMC they have, they are broke the little hedge funds. I got AMC shares, trust me. I have been through this fucking ride, man. Don't doubt that I ain't got AMC. In fact, I average down every fucking week. And I'm at a $28 average now. I don't know where this JP Morgan the way is. I seen the uh, Rico video. Well, and you tell, I'll tell you what, that completely turned, that video there turned me against Lou, boy. That was it. And I don't know where he's got these two motherfuckers from. First off, I don't call nobody Mr. until they earn it. You know, see somebody hat that puts in their name, Mr. Such and Such. That's like a doctor going, I'm Dr. Such and Such. Oh, yeah, you just flaunting your education, okay? You you want in respect, you gotta earn that fucking title of Mr. Elk Spaghetti. I mean shit. And this blue eyes, I man, that motherfucker seems crazy as shit. And I don't mean in a good way. Yeah, they created a bear trap. And every time them motherfuckers would sell short and they was buying. They're setting up for the Moaz. Them, Jay, they're not, BlackRock will not sell below a thousand. I will guarantee it. I, I'm going to show it. Fuck y'all. This on YouTube. No, I ain't seen none of his videos. He's got videos. I've seen one of Elk Spaghetti. <coughs> and I was through with it. <laughs> has vader done any more hit pieces on me <laughs> or did he do a good one on me since tony fucking said something that depend rinse and repeat is dangerous if they halt the stock to to the point where you can't buy any more you're fucked can they do that? Absolutely. They can. People talk about delisted. Listen, they're going to take the buy button again. They're going to. They have to. They had to do that back then, and they have to do it now. That is the original reason why I came to YouTube was to explain to y'all because the YouTubers were wrong. It don't make a fuck if they take that buy button from me right now i don't want it i don't need it i got my shares i got my positions take that motherfucker don't fuck with my sell button you mess with my sell button you turn my sell button off we got issues but the buy button all they do when they stop the buy button is they stop synthetics or excuse me naked positions and, and synthetics from being created for that time frame See, when they took the buy button away over here, I came in after that. But I was day trading it before because I didn't know. But I learned after the buy button shit. They took their sell button, see. You don't hear that side of the story. It's not, the focus is not 
that they took your buy button, they took their sell button. See? So they couldn't sell synthetics or they couldn't establish more naked positions by selling you whatever you want to call them. I got you. They froze that. They said, nah, not until you cover this bullshit. That's what happened with the buy button. And that's what's going to happen again. People are talking about halts. Listen, the only halt that I think is going to happen is going to be the removal of the buy button, which is nothing to be afraid of. And it's nothing to bitch about. Now, we've been in this motherfucker for a year. And if you ain't got your position yet, just like me, though, I add to it every week, except for the time I was boycotting. But the point is this. There's going to come a time where you're not going to be able to buy. You said, well, you're right. No, listen to the argument. They're not able to sell synthetics or established naked positions. Do you understand there, there's another flip side to this buy button that they never told y'all? But they want to cry about, they took the buy button, they took the buy But they froze them from creating synthetics or naked positions. Okay, here's the thing about that, Alan. They're still selling synthetics. I don't believe that. As far as I'm concerned, when I hit that buy button, motherfucker, that's a real share. I know I hear everybody talk about the, we, you know, been buying synthetics and no, 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 no. I've been buying real shares. Now, whoever wants to claim that they knew that they were buying synthetic shares, that's on y'all. But as far as I'm concerned, when I hit that buy button, I expect a share to be there. What up, Phil, for real in the house? I'll change. I mean, you, you watched me the whole night or uh, morning, so you ought to know what I mean by now. When I say a real and a synthetic share for people that are just getting in, because now we've got over 100 new people. What I done was I took boomers and use the example that everything in this bowl is AMC shares, okay? Now, the shares that are in here now was bought last year, all right? And if somebody bought this January, they went in the same bucket as you when you bought in June. You're in this bucket. If you bought in May last year, you're in this bucket. If you buy in next week, you're in this bucket. If you buy in two weeks from now, you go in the bucket. Now, here's where the problem comes in. There's only supposed to be 516 shares, 16 million shares in this bucket. But you look and you go, oh, there's more than that. How many more? I don't know, but that's more than 513 million. Well, how many synthetics is in the bucket? I can't tell you, but it's more than 513 million. Why? Because let's say that a synthetic share is black and it goes in the bucket. And somebody buys a real share and it goes in the bucket. It's white. Then when you look in the bucket, everything is gray. Okay. When the synthetic and the real go in the bucket, it's gray. You cannot tell which is which until you sell. Now, there's not a there's hundred million shares shorted. So they need a hundred million shares and the price will go up. It will go up. I promise you. And when it gets up to 50, somebody's going to hit the sell button. And when they do, a share comes out the bucket and it gets returned to Thank you, uh, bio life. Uh, it gets returned to where it was taken, okay? Then it gets to 65, and these three people decide they're going to sell. And they sell their shares, and they get returned, and the shorts are using them shares to cover, okay? 
Now, once they have covered and all 513 shares are accounted for over here, what's left in this bucket? Where'd all these fucking shares of AMC come from? Because everything's accounted for. The shorts have covered and we know where everything's at now. So where's all these from? See, the minute this motherfucker sells and there, and there ain't a share, that's a synthetic. That makes the price go up. They still have to buy it, but it makes the price go up. And as long as you hold and the price continues to go up, People begin to sell and the synthetics go to zero. So eventually there's none. Now see this bullshit about you got a real share. All right. And you got all these layers of synthetic shares. All right. This bullshit. You got all these layers of synthetic shares connected to it. Okay. And when they return this share, these get vanquished. No. Not possible. Because these belong to somebody. They have to buy them back. That's why the this with the layers of that. And you got all these. And when they return this one, these ain't no more good. Bullshit. They in my account, motherfucker. Somebody's going to pay for them. So I had to dispel that. I hate to say FUD. But it was a misunderstanding. The way he's describing it is wrong. They're, everybody's in this bucket. The color is gray until the magician reaches his hand in here and pulls out a fucking share and they can go return it. Once it hits 516 million over here that they can account for, where'd all these fuckers come from? Now, we've been going for 42 minutes. Hold on just one second. Boomers being difficult. Because I'm fucking thirsty. <laughs> what was we talking about before I stop? Um <laughs> boomer. Boomer jumped on me this morning because he had to go to the bathroom. I got a video of Lou where he's screaming, apes forever. <laughs> I just ain't never played it in public. But I got a video of him going, yeah, we the apes and, boomer, and apes forever. And I'm like, what the fuck changed, Lou? Now you don't want a motherfucker to be an ape. That was a synthetic trait that he gets, Timothy. Just now, the cookies are his synthetics. He's got a particular kind of treat that he wants. And he gets when, when he takes me for a walk and I come back, he lets me give him his special treat. <laughs> That's right. They can't be deleted. They have to. Let me wake up and find out my shit's at zero. You think a motherfucker won't go find where a Weeble and an E-Trade and a TD Ameritrade and a Public, I'll find all their fucking offices. You're going to give me my money and I'll bring Phil for real with me as backup. And we might swing by and get Tendy time. But somebody going to pay us. <laughs> And they know that. That's why they they can't, they scared of us, really. I seen the video Rico put out. That was some fucking awesome DA that man did. I mean, do not. He apparently is one that you don't want to piss Rico off. Rico, please. Y'all comment on Rico's uh, videos for him to reach out to me. I have emailed him an email. I have a question. I think I saw in one of his videos how we can know for sure, without a doubt, that the shorts are covering and how much they're covering and how much more they got to cover. 
But I don't think he knows that indicator can do that. He showed the indicator and I said, no, wait a minute. That motherfucker will tell me when they're covering. And I'm reaching out to him to find out what's the name of the indicator. So y'all tell him, reach out to Common Sense. The Common Sense won't talk to him. He's cool, man. People gave this motherfucker a hard time because he said it was supposed to squeeze December 17th. Let me tell all y'all something. Rico was right. I had December 17th at 1235 as the moment that it was supposed to go. And just a few minutes before it was supposed to pop, according to the chart, it did a head fake and shot down instead of shooting up. So Rico was right. They paused it December 17th. I can show you in the chart the difference in the patterns where they flipped one switch off and this came on. It happened December 17th. So Rico's right. I wish he quit beating himself up over that. Damn, we've been at 285 for a long time. I wish we could get uh 16 more people. That'd be cool. I don't think I ever had 300 people here. Where's the money coming from to honor? Okay, here's the thing about synthetics that are in your account. Has anybody that's ever owed you money come and hunted you down to give you money? That's a good analogy. I need to run 46 minutes, 47 minutes. Has anybody ever hunted you down and said, oh, here's the $100 I owe you. Man, I've been looking for you for three weeks. Has anybody ever done some shit like that for you? Chances are no. Okay. So, here in our accounts, back to the chart, in our accounts are all these synthetic shares. Do you think they are going to chase you down and buy them synthetic shares from you? Think about it. They have to track you down, and they have to have some people sell 100 million shares so they can cover their position or close out their position, however you want to say it. But what about these? Are they going to come hunt you down and say, hey, look, we're sorry. There's synthetic shares in here. Let us pay you for them shares. No, that's not how it's going to work, people. The way it's going to work is you have shares in your account. I have shares in my account. We've held out. Everything is gone. They don't have to buy no more. They don't have to buy no more. They do not have to cover that synthetic share yet. They can continue to pay interest on short positions. So they don't have to have them shares. The only way they have to honor that share is if you sell it. I hope that makes sense because it makes absolute common sense to me is that when the time comes, they're, they're not going to come to me and go, hey, look, see them shares you got? They're synthetic. Can we have them back? We'll give you $3,000 a share. That's. Do you think that's how that's going to go down? No. The synthetics will sit in my account until I hit the sell button. Once I hit the sell button, it goes and they can tear it up and throw it away. Until then, it sits right there. As long as they keep paying the interest on that motherfucker, nobody's going to care. Done by life. We've covered a lot of shit today. And we just hit 300. I am so happy. Can y'all please hit the like button? I see motherfuckers like Trey or Matt Kors and them come on. And I see it. Man, I'm so excited. Kong. And they got fucking 13,000 people there. You know, so hey. But you know what? I love every one of y'all and y'all love me back. So I don't give a fuck. 
we will get that big as more people start realizing, wait a minute, just if you use common sense, what Lou's talking about is not possible. That they're just going to vanquish the synthetics. The synthetics are in your account. They can't vanquish it. You own that motherfucker. They have to pay you. And then he says out the other side of his mouth, these shares are in your account. Well, then they can't vanquish them until they buy them motherfuckers. That's how it works. Or you believe you better buy some ammo. Well, I tell y'all what, it's been a blessing for me to hang out with y'all this Sunday. And like I said, we covered a lot of topics. Man, I would donate. If I knew that the money that I donated to this pot would go to buy back 100 million AMC shares, I'd put $500 in that motherfucker. I'd do it live. If Adam Aaron sets it up to where we can set up a buy share buyback program where invest where the shareholders can fucking buy back shares for for amc i'd put 500 towards that that's a badass fucking strategy people say well, what when you could just buy amc what the fuck is good as buying amc hey what has that done for us over the past fucking six months i'd rather go for a stock buyback lower the float which makes the shares that i own worth more man i gotta go watch the john stewart thing again because what i saw was like a six minute clip is it really all that long because i watched that one and yeah john was bringing drama to his bitch ass john was saying well look you know the apes embarrassed y'all i mean he called us apes and everything he didn't even cut it and go Look, you know, retail investors. No, he called us apes. So he was bringing drama. Mass is not having a live stream tonight. It's Sunday. He had one last night. I went last night and was hanging out in the chat. And people was like, man, are you going on? Are you going on? Nah. Sometimes I just like to hang out in the chat with y'all, you know? See what y'all talking about and respond to y'all in the chat. I can't do that when I'm live. Yeah, shout out to Bigums. Much love, my brother. I seen the thing about your family member. We send our love. John Stewart, let me tell you something. I have always been a fan of John Stewart back when he was on Comedy Central. Now I wasn't a fan when he was on Comedy Central. I see the videos from Comedy Central that he did the skit on. Man, that was one mo funny motherfucker, man. I loved the way he did the commentary. And then he did one on Jim Cramer. And then that sealed me. I was just John Stewart lover from then on the way. He fucking dealt with Jim Cramer. Oh, my God. And he took it easy on uh, what's his name? Gensler. He, he brought drama to fucking uh, but you know what I like too? I like the fact that he's on YouTube because see now they can't censor him for the TV show. He can say what the fuck he wants to say so that's really going to make his shows that much more interesting. Yeah, I used to like Colbert, too. Colbert had a good first 10-minute show. Uh, I used to like watching Colbert, but then he switched. Toronto. Hey, Susan. Nice to meet you. Y'all do know we got a Facebook group, too, huh? And if y'all go join the Facebook group, the moderators over here, I'll, and let me know. Uh, one or two of y'all is already moderating the Facebook group. But that's if something happens here on uh, YouTube, we can communicate on Facebook. If something happens on Facebook, I mean, what the fuck are we going to do then? Get some strings and some cans.
apes together strong it'll be down in the description when uh when we finished any questions let's talk about something y'all ask me whatever question yeah i like butt ice you know why i drink butt ice because that motherfucker it advertises hold on 5.5 percent alcohol well, why would I drink something that has 3.2% alcohol when I got one here that's 5.5? The purpose is to get fucking drunk. It's not to fucking get my belly this big, get drunk quick, and go to bed. <laughs> What's up, Trophy? Stock market junkie showed up. Phil for reals in the house. Phil, Phil, has the shorts covered? Bill might have left. I'll put the Facebook group in the description. Man, look, I, I really don't want to talk about Lou. Uh, I used to fucking love Lou to death. And then certain things started getting said and advice being put out there that I felt hurt to squeeze and I questioned that. And then making fun of chicken at 900 and laughing about it, is, to me, that's not a joke. That means children will be starving to death because food will be that scarce that chicken is 900. So I was mad at him about that. Then I've seen the Rico video and I was like, holy shit. There ain't no denying it. But for those that didn't think he had connections, you were wrong too because he obviously did. <laughs> I believe. Uh, I want to tell y'all what I believe so bad. Yeah, but it tastes like charcoal, but after the second or third one, you don't give a fuck. <laughs> tell you what, what you need me to tell you, Ape? Oh, tell us. Oh. I think we're going to hold this position maybe until April. Because he's sitting in fucking J.P. Morgan with a J.P. Morgan buddy of his. And they pushed a J.P. Morgan is the way slogan on a day that they fuck J.P. Morgan shorted fucking 150,000 AMC shares. <laughs> Go watch Rico's video. And then come back and holler at me. We squeezed Tuesday, Johnny. Listen, I was being a smart ass. I'm not predicting shit. Hey. That's my, can y'all see that? No. That's my little brother calling from jail. So I have to go so I can accept the call. He got himself in some shit. So I'll talk to y'all later. I love y'all and be blessed. Your account balance is two.